Chatterjee. I have completed my master's in economics from University of Calcutta and since then I am pursuing my career in research domain. I am doing this research project as instructed by IV Professional School for my final project on SQL. So here I have done a study on methane emissions. So why methane? Uh, it is the second most important greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide but it is more potent than CO2. Moving along about the data, before we come across uh, the details of the data, we must know that that climate action which is the 13th goal among the 17 sustainable development goals of United Nations is a pretty obvious and pressing factor in recent times. So first about the data, this is a time series data on methane emissions. We call a data time series data when uh, a collection of observations for a single subject, here it is methane emissions at different time intervals is collected. Second, we have the time period of 1990 to 2018. Let me walk you through the data for just one second. Yeah, so this is my data. Here we have factors like country, sector, gas, unit and these are the years for which the data is available. We have around 1739 rows uh, except that first column header. So this is basically my data. So what I did is I imported the data in my SQL server. And select star from emissions that way we can get the data here only. So before that I would like to just highlight the point that in my data, let me just move back to my data, data set. Here you can see there are some non-numeric variables like NA, NA and several other times it has been mentioned like here. So uh, I was facing a difficulty while importing this data. So what I had to do, I had to clean the data that is in order to process the data in a clear way, I needed to clean the data and I did the data cleaning and now my table looks like this with no alphabetical values here in the numbers area. All the data are clean now. So this is helpful and it should be done before using a data set. Moving back to my SQL, so in order to get the number of countries, I ran this query using this testing function as we don't want repetitions. I found out that there are 196 countries. But when I look deeply into the data, I saw that when I counted and I cross check the data, I found that world is consider being considered as a country as well. So we don't want that. So that is why after that finally, I have kept this world out of the total number of countries. That is now our country number is 195. Moving back to my PPT here. So, I have 195 countries here. Similarly, I have seven sectors which I also identified from my SQL queries. Let me run it for you. Number of sectors I have used again I, here I have faced some difficulties like LUCF and sector was being repetitive. So I just discarded that and I found out these are the seven sectors which are unique in nature. So we are working with this seven sectors. Number of sectors you can also get from this seven. Yeah. So moving along. Here unit of measure is metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent which is the standard one. So my objective of the study is trend analysis which is a classic example 
for any time series data uh, the first thing we want to do with the time series data is trend analysis next moving on to sector specific analysis that is i have uh, done here what what is that is a sector specific contribution to methane emissions we'll discuss this forward later on and then country specific analysis where i have also incorporated a case study on specially india so tools i have used for this study is obviously mysql and excel function and other than that i have done my some secondary research on the same so uh, moving to trend analysis and findings from this emission trends what i found out that overall emissions have increased by 14% from 1990 to 2018 we are talking about methane emissions here now as you can see from the chart that uh, this orange line is showing the 2018 line and this blue line is 1991 let me just show you the sql queries what i have run for this one so for overall emission trends we can get the percentage from here only as you can see this is 0.139 that is 0.14 you can say that is 14% of increase now sector wise emissions results will find out top five sectors with respect to 2018 and 9, uh, 1990 as well has been the same that is agriculture energy fugitive emissions waste and other fuel combustion so this also i have got from my sql query the top five sector emissions this is for 2018 let me show you these are the five ones and this is for 1990 same with uh, same occurrences that is same ranking as well so i have noticed that agriculture is solely responsible for 30 to 32% methane emissions all across the data that is from 1990 to 2018 that i have observed with some excel functions here as you can see agriculture in uh, 2018 was close to 30% here and uh, agriculture in 1990 was close to 32% here that is why this is the data we have got here and as you can see other other than these agricultural factors there are energy and fugitive emissions these three together are responsible for the most of the emissions happening all over the world that is close to 76% which is also evident from the data calculations here as well here i have done some cumulative uh, percentage and here you can see that industrial processes uh, fugitive emissions sorry this is 76.52% and here also 76.75% for 2018 and 1990 as well so this is pretty huge now uh, we'll move across to country wise emissions so the top 5 countries with respect to 2018 were china russia usa india brazil and for 1990 the data is somewhat different where russia was topping and india was the fifth one just we can see here that eu and brazil has switched positions but not much that is why i in this uh, chart i have kept all six countries to represent the data in a better way here you can see uh, this is the orange bar is the sum of 2018 and the blue one is for 1990 so for both the years as i have mentioned the years has uh, for both the years the countries has been more or less the same but for european european union that is eu we see that there has been a reduction by 37 percent uh, from uh, 1990 to 2018 however for 2018 as well after calculation we found out 
that just after Brazil, it was at 4.434% uh, causing uh, worldwide uh, methane emissions. So, Brazil emissions increased by 44% from 1990 to 2018 that we can see here from the data and in 1990 however Brazil share of emissions was 3.46% let me just show you the calculations done behind so here top 5 country wise emissions for 2018 we have got this and for 1990 as well we have got these five as mentioned in the PPT. Later on for Brazil's percentage change we have counted this here you can see 44% and for EU we said, see that minus 0.369 that is minus 37% 37% reduction in emissions. We have also plotted this in Excel for our bar diagrams here here you can see so moving back to our PPT moving on to the next slide that is India specific finding so overall emissions of India as we can see from 1990 to 2000 18 has increased that is uh, obvious from this uh, graph so overall methane emissions increased by 30 percent 30 percent in India specific factors like agriculture 14 percent increase energy 50 percent increase fugitive emissions 99 percent that is almost a hundred percent increase waste twofold increase other fuel combustion 16 percent increase land use change and forestry 35% industrial processes 160% increase that is 1.6% jump in this so uh, as we can see after the industrial policy of 1991 that is the liberalization of the economy the effects of industrialization has put a lot of emphasis on uh, methane emissions that is 160% 1.6% jump six fold jump and waste management here is as well is twofold dump as we have seen. Now moving back to our calculation sheet uh, in MySQL. So for country specific, we I have done this percentage that I have found out that 30% increase is there, and sector specific emissions also we have identified from here. Uh, agriculture, as you can see, this is 14%. And uh, moving along fugitive waste, waste was the highest one that is 203% twofold jump and uh, similarly the other sectors have been done here. Industrial processes was the last one that is also a big number 160% 1.59 as you can see from the data. So for this also I have used some charts here. This you can see for all the items. And for agriculture, we can just deselect and choose agriculture and we can see the change in agriculture. Let me show you the waste one, which is the highest. As you can see, it has steadily increased. After this 2000, the graph is almost the same, but it has increased exponentially from the 1994 to 2000. Moving back to our PPT, so conclusion what I have found out from this. So firstly irrespective of the development process of each country continues to add to emissions be it a developing country like India which is also a top five uh, player in methane emissions. Secondly developed country like USA which is also a part of this five, uh, top five. Again, uh, as we can see that agriculture is the topmost source of emissions, but as we know that agriculture is responsible for labor earnings primarily, mostly. 
so that is why uh, dealing with agriculture is most difficult but we can choose alternative crops that cause less emissions third technological development needs to be done in a sustainable uh, sustainable manner this is a sort of given and then india should immediately work on these factors as we have done india specific study better waste management that is stp and wtp uh, we can also learn a lesson from madhya pradesh for all other uh, states in india where they have done a lot better in waste management adaptation of best industrial practices reduce dependency on non renewable energy that is uh, we should st uh, switch to green energy now that is we also have our ev policy electronic vehicles policy uh, to reduce the emissions the, to reduce our carbon footprint on this planet so uh, basically these are the factors which are evident and uh, that is how i'll like to stop here and thank you for watching this video hope you like it Thank you.